Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Oh, we've got a fun little animation for you today, or rather a hover effect. We've got two images on the bottom here. The one on the left here, if I hover over it, it's black and white. And when I hover over it, it's gonna turn color. It's also gonna affect the button. When I take my cursor back off, both the button and the image goes back to being grayscale. We've done this before in the past and I actually had a question that somebody actually wanted the image to still change in the background but they wanted to keep the color on the actual button which makes it stand out a little bit more. So we've done this with this one over here. Really easy to do. The one on the right here we've got to do a tiny bit of coding for but any code I write I'll put down below the video. You're welcome to use it. And the one on the left no coding at all for that and I'll show you both. Let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's roll down to where we want to work. There's our two images there. I'll just create a new row and we'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a row with two columns. Obviously, you make yours whatever size you want. Although we're just using a button for this today, I'm actually going to use a call to action module rather than a button module because it's easier to position and space. Now, I really don't want a title. If you do, of course, you can leave that in there. I'll leave the button on click here if you want to put something else in there, obviously put it there. But I don't want any content either, I really just want the button. And you may have seen, or you may not have seen because it's not there, that there's no button. Before the button's going to show up, you have to go in the link under the content here and put a link in. Once you put that in there, it'll show up. If you want the actual whole module to link somewhere, you can put another link in here. Same link or different link, whatever you prefer. And always best practice, if you're linking to your site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. Okay, fantastic. Well, for this one, we really don't need to do any coding or anything. So let's get it done. I'm going to go down. I'm going to get rid of the generic background. That button will disappear in the background because it's white on white. Let's add the image that we want. And we'll find something with a bit of color to it. Let's use that one. There it is in the background there. Now we need to make it the sort of height and shape that we want it. To do that, I'm just going to add a bit of padding to it. So let's go over to the design tab. Let's pull this over a little bit closer. I'm going to go over to the design tab. I'm going to go down to spacing. And I'm going to add padding top and bottom until it's the shape that I want and the buttons in the position that I want it. So I'm going to probably add 120 on the top. I'm going to need slightly more on the bottom, I think, if we want that button to be central. Obviously, adjust yours to how it looks right for you. That'll work for me. It's the sort of aspect ratio that I want. Let's change the color of the button so we can actually see it a little bit better. So if we roll up a little bit, there's the button. I'm going to turn on custom styles. And let's leave the text color white. I'll give it a little background color. Is purple going to stand out? Yeah, that'll work fine. And if you want to give it a hover color, and this is common to all Divi modules, hover over the dark writing. You'll see some little icons appear. Go to the thing you want to affect, button background color in my case. Little arrow, if there's a little arrow there, click on it. Desktop states when the mouse is not on it, we'll leave it purple. Hover state, obviously, when the mouse is on it. Let's change it to perhaps blue. Great. Well, I don't want a border on there. So I'm going to take the border width away till it's nothing. And I think I'm going to give mine some rounded corners. Button border radius. Give it a fairly high pixel value. And you have some nice rounded corners on there. Not going to change the font or anything like that. And I don't really want an icon when I hover over. So I'm going to turn that one off today. And there's plenty of icons to choose for, from if you do decide you want one. It's in the middle anyway, but I'm going to make sure by leaving it there. Okay, well that's great. We've got our button or we've got our image, which is just what we want. But initially, we want this whole thing to be black and white or grayscale, as they say. So without coding, we can do that really easily. Still in the design tab, if we roll all the way down, you'll find filters. And we've got saturation, basically that's the amount of color. So if we want it to be black and white, we can take all the saturation away by taking this 
slider all the way down there and we've got a black and white but of course it's taken all the color out of our button as well which is fine some circumstances but I'll show you how to avoid that in a minute and we want to do the same thing by creating a hover effect again go to the thing you want to affect hit the little arrow desktop want it to be black and white or zero saturation hover I want it to be back up to 100% saturation or full color now the default time it takes to go from one to the other with the Divi theme is 300 milliseconds if you want to speed it up or slow it down you can go to advanced down to transitions there's the default 300 you can slide up and down or type in a value don't want any delay I want the delay I want it to happen as soon as they put their mouse on it I'm going to leave the default transition speed curve to ease ease in out is quite often my go-to for hover effects they're all subtly different some will work better than others in some situations so do check them out great well we're good to go with that one let's just save this and see what it's going to look like we to save draft and exit the visual builder and let's roll on down there it is a black and white picture and when we roll over it it's taking 300 milliseconds to come back to being a colored picture and of course we can hover over the button and take our visitors wherever we want great but what if you want the same effect but you want that color to remain on the button so it really stands out like the one above there we've got to take a slightly different approach to this let's re-enable the visual builder and again let's go down to where we want to work let's work on this other column I'm going to use exactly the same module we use a call to action don't want a title don't want any content do want a button let's move this out of the way so you can see what's going on here again we need to put a link in before the button is going to show up great okay well, we're we going to do something different here I'm actually going to save this and the way this is going to work our image that we used over here we're actually going to put in the background of the column for this one so let's go into the row the green tab we're working on column number two the right hand one I'm going to go in there background I'm going to select the image that I want and we'll use the same one again now you can't see it because our module has got a background and it's covering it there which is fine I'm going to save this and we'll go back into the module if I take that background away now content roll down there's the background and all Divi modules you'll find backgrounds under content the first tab here let's take that that default color away there and you can see the image behind just like we had before and again we've got to give it the aspect ratio that we want by using padding so we'll go over to design do the same thing spacing I think I use 120 and 130 wasn't it 120 and 130 and then we'll color up the button just like we did before actually before I go to the button if you're going to use this on tablet and mobile and again this is common to all Divi modules roll over the dark writing again you'll get those little icons up you've got a little mobile phone icon and you can select tablet and mobile and set different sizes for those so that your aspect ratio is how you want it on those devices okay well let's style our button so I'm going to go back up here's the button custom styles I'll do exactly the thing I did before color white text background purple we'll give it a hover color of blue don't want a border and I want rounded corners and everything else I don't want a button icon and everything else I'm going to leave just as it is we're still on the hover state at the moment that's why it's blue up there if I flip it back to the desktop there we go now to make this work today we've got to write a bit of code so still in our call to action settings I'm going to go over to the advanced and we're going to go down to custom CSS and if you watch yesterday's video where we did the blur effect I'm not sure if it'll work on the back end here where we had a no it doesn't work on there we've got 
the background blurs out and you've got the sharp text on top, we're going to use a similar thing, which is called a backdrop filter. So in the main element, I'm going to say backdrop dash filter colon. And I want to use gray scale, which is black and white basically. So it's gray scale and then some round brackets at the end. I want it to be 100% gray scale, 100%, which is what you see there, totally black and white. Now there's a little warning up here, unknown property backdrop filter. I tested this on all kinds of browsers, it works. I'm not sure why that pops up, it may just not be in the library here, but it does work. Okay, and if you want to make it compatible with more browsers, we're going to use the WebKit to do that. I'm going to copy the whole thing there. I'm going to drop down another line. I'm going to type dash WebKit. And at the end of that last dash, just paste in that code again. Now it used to be you had to do Moz and Opera and things, Opera and various browsers separately. That should cover most of the bases nowadays. Okay. Now, when they hover over it, I want that color to come back in. So let's copy both of these. Control C to copy. And again, we're going to go up to the little arrow icon to create a hover state. Click on that arrow for the hover state. I'm going to paste those in there. But I'm going to change that 100% to a zero. And as you can see, the colors come back on there. And you want to do it on both, obviously. But to make the timing the same as the one before, the default with Divi was 300 milliseconds. We can't actually do it, I don't think, without coding it. We could go and do it the same way as we did last time, but because we're using code here, I'm going to stick to it. So let's go back to the desktop, and it's important you do it on the desktop one. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to say transition duration, dash duration, colon, and we'll make it the same 300 milliseconds or 0.3 of a second actually that'd be the easiest way to do it 0.3 yes there we go so let's save our changes and see what we've got now let's save the module purple button save the page changes let's take like the visual builder we'll roll on down and there's our first one doing what we want the buttons changing grayscale as well. Here's our second one. When I roll over it, as you can see, the button's still got its color, but we're getting that color back in 300 milliseconds. And we've got a hover color on the button also. So I hope that's answered that question. That's how to change the grayscale in a background image so that your button remains colored. And there's the simple one with no coding. So there you go, guys. There's two little image button hover effects for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.